Well, we're here at a campground, KOA campground, and uh, we're gonna take uh, our little doggy for a little walk. Make sure that she's okay. Hey, girl. Ready to go for a walk? Yeah, okay. So we took the doggy out for a little walk. Yeah, just gave him a little exercise. And I saw this sign for Aunt Ruby's Peanuts, and I had to go check it out. But when I got there, just to come to find out, it's just nothing but a little hole in the wall. And it was closed. I mean, very disappointing. So here we are at the town of Enfield, and I'm looking for a hardware store. I think I see one over there, so uh, I'm going to go look for some stuff for the uh, camper. All right, see you. It's not often you see a great hardware store. I mean, you can go to Lowe's and Home Depot, but not see just an old-timey hardware store that has just about everything in it. They also had a antiques shop in the back, so we went and checked that out. Some great, great antiques back here. Really, really neat. My wife wanted to get one of these old-timey irons. They had train sets. All different kinds of knickknacks. Everything just about you can think of. Bicycles, Coca-Cola refrigerators and scooters, some old time wicker chairs, and they had some big old saws over here. And speaking of saws, these guys were, told me I could find a sawmill over here. Whew, they got quite the operation here. Look at all that lumber. They're doing a bang up business over here. So I was asking the guys over there to see if I could get some uh, eight by eight to put underneath my jacks for my, uh, for my camper. I found some. He said, go ahead and take some. So, awesome. A little to a heck of a lot of wood. This is just what I needed. Perfect size for the camper jack. We took a trip and saw this detour signs for dozens. It was pretty cute. And a U-turn signal. I have never seen a U-turn signal. The trip's not a trip to uh, any other town without a local trip to Walmart. We came back to the camper and was just hanging out. And our dog, Cornbread, was all over the place. <laughs> Barking at everything. So, oh, we've seen that guy. So, I'm gonna take uh, our little puppy for a walk. This is a look at our campsite. Camp with our camper, and uh, she's already taken off on me. I gotta track her down. A friend once told me that dogs, when they're sniffing around, it's like they're going to a museum. And so every new smell is like an, a, a new mu museum exhibit. They gotta go and check it out. It's nighttime around here. Time to put everything away and get ready for bed. That's our camper right there at, at nighttime. So it's a good night and uh, got the doggy all back in bed. Wife is uh, in bed and it's time for me to get in bed. Woke up this morning and saw this. Oh, look at that little nose poking out. It's early, early in there in the morning. Taking my little doggy for a walk because of the, uh, so that she can go to the bathroom. I'm tired. <laughs> she stopped in her tracks and was fixated on one little point. I didn't see what she's looking at. This is a kitty kitty. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no. Come on. One thing's for sure, there's always something to smell and to discover. Who knows what exhibit is going to be next.
Fornbread is a nice little lap dog. We have a good time together. I like to watch things. We took a trip to Rocky Mount and they have a great little trail there called the Tar River Trail. And we took our bikes on it and we had a great time. Lots to see, the river was beautiful and the trail was wide enough for us to even ride side by side. Lots of wood bridges and different places to see. Even little overlooks where you can get to the river. Lots of places to do really nice selfies. And lots of places just to sit and relax and enjoy the view. I tried to get a picture of this herring when it, but it took off. So this is my second attempt. And we had a great time. We're riding this uh, Tar River Trail in Rocky Mount. It's beautiful, really beautiful. Ridges and all kinds of good stuff. We're just enjoying the ride. It's just awesome. Of course, I'm on a bicycle this time, but uh, you know, while uh, my leg is healing, I gotta do something. So, two wheels, it's better than none, in my opinion. I'm just having a good time. She's got it easy. She's got a battery powered trike. And on a bicycle, it's tough riding, <laughs> going up hills. <laughs> but I'm glad to be out to her and uh, having a good time. Let's see ya. Keep on going. Beautiful day. stopped at this little gazebo that's right next to the uh, river, took another selfie, and then we took off back towards the truck and uh, to put our bikes away. I saw this big old rock here. It was actually a mount for the first post office of Rocky Mount. These hills are challenging. I'm so sure not too challenging for you other uh, cyclists out there, but for a 56 year old man, who just is recovering from a broken leg. It's pretty challenging for me, but I'm doing it. And I thank the Lord for it. Well, we did it. And that was a nice ride. 3.5 miles, not too bad on this Tar Ripper Trail. So we went back to the uh, campground, started a fire and our, cooked our dinner on it with me and my wife, Kay. <laughs> and a little cornbread. Kept on searching for that next exhibit. Well, we made it back with a half the day still left. Now we got the fun part of unpacking. <laughs> so I had uh, cornbread's little playpen that I had taken out and uh, brought it back in to put the uh, barrier so uh, we could use it again like that. And I was, then I went and took all the suitcases back upstairs, and then I was done. We did it. That's a wrap. All done. That was a good time. Mm -hmm.